Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Fury Security Com Fury Launchpad, Com Fury Administration Training. In our last session, we talked about the concept of fit to standard workshop. What are all the goals and who are the participants and what will you be doing in the fit to standard workshop in your company? We identified the classical T codes, find out the most assigned rules for corresponding to these T codes, got the UGIS profile of the most used T codes and reports in the program, combine them together, subtract the obsolete functionality in S4 HANA, and then identify the Fury apps, which are best match or fit matches corresponding to these T codes. Then we collected also randomly the Fury applications and also the applications related to the business processes to be able to club them together and find out the roles. Finally, these roles are pumped inside the best practice guide, which is your Fury rapid deployment, uh, rapid deployment task list. And then that's where you know the activation takes place. Now, once when you do the Fury rapid activation, what are all the challenges you will face and how do you overcome these challenges? And once it is done, what is the best practice to adapt content? We already discussed about that, but there are some of the minor things is things which we need to also include in our in our use case. Most of the trainers do not cover this concept in their training. Yes, they avoid this concept completely, but it's important to understand because 70% of your implementation is still web GUI and webdin pro. So let us understand what is backend catalog. So first let's understand the motivation of in using this something of your classic classical apps. So if my company want to use all the classical GUI T codes with Fury like experience. Right? With Fury like experience. So classical GUI and WebDIN Pro, let me put. We need to enable them tiles on the launch pad, obviously, because launch pad is our single entry point. So eventually we need to enable tiles for each and every GUI and WebDIN Pro apps, correct? What will be the effort? From the security side to bring these tiles on the screen on the launch pad so guys of course you all know now the process of implementation first you have to create tile then you have to uh, add semantic object then you have to create target mapping then you have to add details, add T code details. Then you have to add this tile to add to uh, catalog. Then add reference to group. Create a role and assign the role, right? This big steps are there when we look at a custom Fury app, right? So if I ask you in your company, you had 1500 T codes. Will you go and create manually 1500 tiles for all those 1500 T codes in S4 on a system? Anybody? Will you go and create for each T code a tile in S4 on a system on the Launchpad Designer manually? Of course not. Right? Still, you see 70 to 80 percent of your content, your your apps are based on classical GUIs. WebDIN pros. So how do you handle this such situation? So good news for all of you. SAP already delivers these P codes and WebDIN pro apps tiles. Yes, as part of a technical catalog. This technical catalog, we call it as backend catalog called BE. 
So usually you will have the name uh, naming convention as TC underscore BE underscore. This will be the naming convention. So any catalog contains BE means it's a backend catalog. But where is this backend catalog? This backend catalog depends on where it exists, depends on your system design, your Fury deployment. If we use the central hub, this content or this catalog, backend catalog, is kept in Fury backend server. Yeah, your backend server. Which means all the tiles and target mappings are present in backend server, not in front end server. So if I try to draw this, your central hub architecture again, you would see that this is your Fury backend server. Backend server. Yes. BES and this is your FES, Fury front end server. So all your technical catalog for Fury apps is present in the Fury front end server. Yes, but all the technical catalogs for your classical GUI apps is present in the back end server here for GUI and Webdin Pro. This catalog is present here on the back end server. Which means what happens is if you want to now make a tile, your launchpad exists on front end, right? So eventually your launchpad is here. This is where our launchpad is. So if I wanted to use any tile for my classical GUI of pre-delivered SAP content, this backend catalog which exists here needs to replicate first on the front end server. We need to replicate this in the front end server. And then we need to do basically we will have the, the business catalog BCs which reference from this backend catalog. So SAP also deliver a dangling reference to this backend catalog from the business catalog in the system. They already have it. But this backend catalog exists in actually it persists here. Its persistence, its database table is here. In order to bring it in the Launchpad Designer, you have to run a report to, to, to basically replicate it into the Launchpad Designer. So the Launchpad Designer can show this to you and then you can have a business catalog and eventually everything can work seamlessly on the front end server. So the long story short, all the classical T codes and Webdin Pro apps, which are standard delivered by SAP, for them, there is a technical backend catalog which exists on backend server, which needs to be replicated on the front end server in the Launchpad Designer. So that in the Launchpad Designer, you can create a business catalog on top of it, these tiles, or you can refer the SAP standard business catalog, and then you can put it into a role and grant access to the user for this classical GUI functionality, which is visually harmonized by SAP. Yeah. So just to show you an example in the system, we will now can just see an example in the system. Let's go ahead and see an example, how it looks in, in our Fury App Reference Library to just experience this, how exactly it is working. So before that, let's understand the SAP delivers also the business catalog, which points to tiles related to these classical GUIs. So SAP also deliver business catalog which has or which contains the tiles and these tiles point to a technical catalog which is nothing but your backend catalog, okay? As a reference, which means until we not replicate this catalog from backend to frontend, we will see 
these business catalogs not working properly. Let me take an example and showcase this. So usually you will see in Launchpad Designer a error called reference lost in a news server. So many people complain this issue. They are getting reference lost issue on their Fury Launchpad Designer when they open Launchpad Designer to use styles delivered by SAP for classical GUIT codes. So this is the reason because the, the dangling reference which you have it here to the technical catalog is missing. Let me show you this in the system. I will just first go back to app reference library and let me just search all apps in S4. And I will search here a classical T code in SAP server called MM01. You all know MM01, our material master. Yes, to create material master. So I'm going to see MM01. Now, even, even one more thing. If you don't have the central hub scenario, you have embedded one. Still, this replication is important because the persistence has to go to the launchpad designer so that these business catalogs can reference to the tiles properly. So that's why still you need this replication, but the replication will be within itself. Yeah, within itself. Yes. So let me show you that. So now I go to this T code MM01. You see here create material MM01. This is now a create material application, which is your classical GUI application. You see the application type is SAP GUI. It's a classical GUI. It's not Fury. It's your classical GUI functionality. Now, if you come down to the information for configuration, you will see the technical catalog name. Yes, it contains BE. BE means it's a backend catalog. Yes, if I copy this BE name and if I search my Fury Launchpad Designer, let me launch Fury Launchpad Designer. So I will log into Fury Launchpad Designer now. This is where we design all our content and work day and night with most of our content. If I try to search in a fresh system, in a new system, imagine it's a very new system. I'm in Fury front-end system. I open Launchpad Designer. And if I search that, that catalog, enter, you see it's not found. Yes, exactly. It's not found. Exactly. But Fury of Preference Library says it's there, but here it is not there. How come? Exactly. This backend catalog is not replicated to launch by designer yet. Even though I'm using embedded system, it's not replicated. Now, if you see, there is this is a technical catalog, but it contains BE means backend catalog. Now, one more thing you see. The information about the T code is MM01. And if you come down, you'll see business catalog. If I open this business catalog now, this business catalog where it is referring, referencing the app. So you remember in the past class, we learned about how SAP standard content is designed. SAP always have technical catalogs, TCs. And from these TCs, we have a reference to BCs, business catalog, right? So TC contain all the tiles, actual tiles and target mappings and business catalog just reference them. And then from these business catalogs, we reference to business catalog groups. This, this we learned it already in the past class. Please check the previous class session if you forgot this. But this is how typically the SAP standard content is designed. So if I open this business catalog now to see the apps in the Launchpad Designer, you will see everywhere this error reference loss, reference loss, reference loss, reference loss, reference loss. Why? Why? Because the corresponding backend catalog is not yet replicated. Exactly. It's not replicated from backend system to my front end system. Even, even you using embedded system, you will get this error because this persistence, this, this backend catalog is, is stored in the backend system. And in order to make it visible in the Launchpad Designer, we need to replicate them. To replicate them, there is a report which we have to run, which is given by SAP. Yes. 
and once we run that report then we will be able to replicate but it's not so straightforward before reaching to that report you need to understand the process what it needs so guys these two systems are two different systems so the replication is not a straightforward that you go and run and it replicate no first thing you need to understand how these two systems are connecting these two systems are connecting via rfc so in order to replicate these catalogs in the front end system you need a connection you need an rfc this is very very important yes so if you don't have an rfc it is not possible to replicate this plus system would also need a http connection so there are two types of connections you would need in order to utilize this pre-delivered content by sap one is rfc type three type connection and one is a http type connection and then another the twist here is if you go back to the the furia preference library you will see here there is a twist the twist is system alias you can't replicate these backend catalogs just by one rfc it has to follow this as a system alias s4 cmd like that for finance you have s4 fin so you have so many different different system aliases only through this system alias the replication of the backend catalog is possible so the process is not so straightforward but by the way let me put this example so first is how do you find the correct backend catalog right to find the correct backend catalog you already saw we can one way is we can go to furia preference library search t code go to details and find the backend catalog there is also another easy way to find all the required backend catalogs in the system for corresponding t codes if you have multiple t codes for example because you saw in the last class in the fury standard fury to standard workshop we found out all the t codes now since you need them all the t codes you would also need to know what all the backend catalogs these t codes are added into already as a tile yes so let me note down the step by step process the step by step process to replicate backend catalog